Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're talking about the fourth step in our warm-ups. We've already talked about self-myofascial release. That's kind of like the poor man's massage stuff. You may or may not be using that. Hint, watch that video. Then, what do we talk about next? We talked about just general movement. Sometimes you're just sitting down all day and you need to move around a little bit. You need to clear your mind. And then, last time, we talked about muscle activation. We talked about gluteal amnesia and how it, it actually is a good way to look at things. And hey, yeah, maybe you need to turn some stuff on and then, you know, think about it and pick the right stuff, whatever, whatever. That was another video. This video is about stretching and dynamic mobility. So especially in people who sit down all day, they they will benefit, one, from just general movement, but two, from excursing their muscle. I don't, I mean, that's not a word, but taking their muscles through full ranges of motion to remind their bodies and their muscles and their nervous system and their joints and proprioceptors and skin and everything, remind those things how to actually move and that they can wake up and that they can actually move. So, what we say is stretching now, I don't know, stretching kind of gets a bad rep. Stretching is, you know, pin my muscle down and just hold on to it. And then I feel a lot better afterwards. Okay, so if you do feel better afterwards, feel free to continue doing it. It's just, to me, it's just like the self-myofascial release stuff. It might actually help you. Feel free to do it. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of it because I feel like I am very flexible and I feel like a lot of the people that I train are very flexible. They might need some stretching, some longer term inhibition in some areas, but they probably don't need just general everything um, unless it's after a workout and it helps them recover and they like doing it. And it's part of their ritual. Then, yeah, yeah, go for it for sure. Another thing to say, so stretching is Another thing where I'm not breaking up scar tissue or adhesions or whatever. I'm just inhibiting the nervous system. I'm not even I'm not making the muscle longer. I'm just saying, hey, the nervous system, you can calm down. OK, you don't have to be so taut. You don't have to be so tight. You don't have to be so on specifically on. Anyways, OK. Stretching. Stretching is the thing. Yes, but we need to differentiate between two types of stretching. One is static stretching where I pin and hold, you know, I stretch something and then I hold it there for 30 seconds or whatever. And then there is dynamic stretching or dynamic mobility, we might say, where I am turning some muscles on, taking my joints through full ranges of motion to, you know, again, remind my body to, you know, be awoke. So static stretching, I think, is overused because it's easy to do and it kind of makes people feel pretty good right away. But again, it, it's not really creating a whole lot of lasting change. If you feel a lot better, feel free to continue doing it. But again, that's that's one of those things that I'm kind of cutting away from my warm ups to make them more efficient. Um, dynamic mobility, however, is great because I get a lot going on there. I start to activate muscles. I start to actually warm stuff up, but I also take joints through full ranges of motion and I get these like lasting benefits. So after your workout, after you do all this stuff, then I can go home and I can, you know, grab my shaker bottle from the top shelf and not feel so restricted in my shoulder or in my neck or not have that, you know, that pain or that compensation that maybe I normally have during that stuff. Dynamic mobility is really good, especially after pairing it with some sort of really finely tuned, appropriate muscle activation. Um, but, you know, look at every joint, try to move the ankle, try to move the knee, try to move the hip, try to move the back even. Yes, I said that, Stuart McGill people. I think you should move your spine too. Uh, yeah, no, neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, all that stuff, especially if you're going to use it in your workout, you want dynamic mobility exercises for that in your warm up because you want those joints, those, you know, tissues to be prepared for this workout. So that's all of my thoughts on dynamic mobility. <laughs>